The newer salsa dancing styles like on one and on two are full of exciting and complex turn patterns, but some other styles of salsa dancing focus more on footwork. In fact, some criticize the linear styles because of all the flashy spins and turn patterns. So are there really too many turn patterns in linear style salsa? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. So welcome back to Salsa Goals, a channel for those with goals when it comes to salsa music and dance, and let's get started. Now why do linear salsa dancing styles from the US like On1 and On2 have so many turn patterns? Well, the answer may involve the environment in which they were developed and the influences they were exposed to, as discussed in this video series here. So if you haven't seen that complete video series yet, then please check it out. Now some Latin American salsa dancing styles, such as Colombian salsa, focus more on footwork with not that many turn patterns. Therefore, some dancers criticize the linear styles because of all the non-stop turn patterns. For example, when watching certain videos of linear style salsa dancers like this one with Neri Garcia and Karini Moraes, I noticed comments like, salsa is 90% footwork and the rest is turns, here they only do turns. Or other comments like, salsa isn't just spins and spins, that's not salsa, it doesn't have any rhythm or timing, and that's not how to keep the rhythm of the salsa song, too many spins. Another example are the comments on this video with Body Fusion and Alicia Velasco. For example, this salsa dance lost its appeal. They do too many turn patterns and sometimes are out of sync with the rhythm. It's like the song is fast, but they are slow. Another comment reads, Undoubtedly, salsa dancing is an art and turns add elegance to it. However, when the dancers spend the whole time executing turns, that ruins the dance and makes it seem more like choreography. But at the same time, it can also go both ways. And linear salsa dancers can sometimes make fun of styles that rely too heavily on footwork, such as in this Instagram video called How Salsa Calina Style Looks to Mambo Dancers. Now of course, there are always going to be personal preferences, and for whatever the reason, everyone is entitled to their own likes and dislikes, so the style that you like is a matter of personal preference. However, here's an additional factor just to keep in mind. Imagine two professional musicians, a drummer and a violinist. Both are very advanced, amazing musicians who can play their respective instruments like a true master. However, the drummer uses rhythm while the violinist uses melody. Now although the drummer uses rhythm instead of melody, that drummer is still a real musician. Likewise, even though the violinist uses melody instead of rhythm, that violinist is still a real musician because they are both playing their respective instrument and expressing their musical creativity. They are just each using a different musical vocabulary to do so. In the same way, salsa dancers of different styles can express their creativity and musicality in different ways because they are each using a different dance vocabulary. For example, on one and on two dancers can express creativity through the use of various turn patterns, while dancers of other styles such as salsa calenia can express their creativity through complex footwork. Both ways are creative, and regardless of the style, each dancer can be like a painter, creating a work of art, they're just using different colors. So if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit like and be sure to subscribe. Now turn patterns are great, and for some out there, the more complex the turn pattern, the better. But sometimes, when dancers execute spin after spin, well some have claimed that that's not salsa. So is there really such a thing as too many turn patterns? Well, get ready for the next video, because we're going to examine that very question. And until next time, stay safe, stay connected to the music, and most importantly, keep dancing salsa.